High action gameplay, your best moments, exciting music, and something other than just a looping animation. Having a dynamic and more entertaining be right back or even a starting soon screen for your live stream can do a lot to keep viewer retention high when you need to step away to the little streamer's room or, you know, you're waiting for viewers to show up. Giving them something to still consume to keep them around is a very valuable choice that you can make for your live stream. I talked about this in a previous episode of Stream Critique, and today I'm going to show you how with a tool called Athenoscope that's available for free. I'm Ebos Vox, the stream professor, still a little under the weather, but we do have a tutorial today. Today we're looking at Athenoscope, which is a free service that will automatically generate using machine learning uh, montages and highlights clips and playlists of those clips and really cool be right back and starting soon screens from your Twitch VODs or your Facebook gaming VODs, which is pretty sick. So you go to athenoscope.com, link will be in the description, sign up, sync your stream account, and there are a list of specific games. So once you have logged into an account, you can go over here to get highlights and then sync up your Facebook or your Twitch account. So for example, I'm gonna connect Twitch here and you can see they do currently only have a list of specifically supported games. So Warzone, Apex, Valorant, Fortnite, Cold War, League of Legends, Rocket League, the new NBA 2K game, Minecraft, PUBG, Overwatch, Fall Guys, Siege, Destiny 2, Rogue Company, Counter-Strike, Smite, and they just added Knockout City. Now, unfortunately, I believe they just added Knockout City after our Discord community game night here. Uh, so it has already processed this VOD and we cannot reprocess it without submitting a support ticket, which I'm going to do after this video. Uh, but having Knockout City is pretty clutch. It's a fun game. So you go over here and then you can tell it to create highlights based on your VODs. Now this one isn't a gaming video, so it's not going to find anything, but I can tell it to do so and it will start scanning the VOD. Now the cool thing here is that while you can stream directly to Athenoscope uh, through like they have an RTMP server you can stream to or they have their own fork of OBS that you can use to automatically just stream your gameplay, uh, it will just automatically scan all of your VODs moving forward. So all of these sessions you see that it has for me it just did on its own based on what I'm streaming. And you can see the sparsity in my streaming habits. But that's not the point. And eventually you'll end up with a bunch of clips. So if I go over here to my account and go to my playlists. This is just a test playlist I've made. But you can add any of your clips to playlists. You get presented with your clips here uh, from the different games that you played. And it does work with ultra wide. Although this is a test with a very terrible OBS encoder. Uh, but you do run into some issues and that may be why the Knockout City uh, capture didn't work is if you block certain HUD elements because of the way the machine learning works to detect when you get a kill or when you, you know, get on a good spree or what have you, it may not always work. But it will automatically capture these clips from your stream and present them to you and then you can have them in different forms. So for example, it will present you, if we go back here, I'm getting ahead of myself, if we go to a session or like this, April 28th, where it has different clips from different games. I can come over here to, okay, Apex Legends. Here are the top three clips that it saved. Actually, it saved five clips from 16 rounds of this, including a squad round. So it actually detected another streamer streaming this game with Athena Scope synced up, which was my buddy Nickba, who's one of our mods on our Discord server. And it will actually let you set up a squad round where it shows the different preview. Now this one doesn't actually have anything going on, but it will switch perspectives based on the cool stuff going on, which I think is pretty awesome. But you can come down here and it will create select individual clips, which will usually be short. So you see 38 seconds, 50 seconds, 59 seconds, but then it will generate a top round as well as just a general kill montage or, you know, point scoring montage, depending on the game you're playing. And then you can pin these individual clips. So for example, if I really like this one, I can pin it, which makes it easier to find later. You can directly share it out, share it to Twitter, or you can download the video file itself. Albeit, it will have this Athena scope watermarking. And they do this because if you're going to showcase it on your live stream, it uses this logo as part of the machine learning to know not to just keep infinitely recapturing the same clips over and over, which is pretty important, even if the logo is... Not necessarily the best. So I'm going to unpin this one, but we're going to come down here. This is one of the montages that it put together. Now, it's not the formal montage, the weekly sessions it does with music and everything, but this is just a quick put together, like grouping of multiple kills I got within a singular game. And this is from last year playing Apex Legends, but it will just kind of go through the different clips, which are pretty cool. Now, what you do from here 
is you can pin up your clips or what have you. You go to the top right, click on your profile, go to my pinned videos, and these are like your favorites that you have selected. I have pinned 118 videos because I am ridiculous. Uh, but then you can start changing the, the names and things like that. This one was automatically named because this is one of the montages that they did actually make for me. So it does actually have music attached. It is all royalty free and stream safe though. And it's a little bit better edited. I don't know if these are hand edited or not, but they're usually edited a little bit better. They're synced to the music a little bit and present something a little bit nicer. Now you get these by qualifying for the weekly showcase requirements. You got to stream one of the specific games for that week and meet some certain requirements and it'll generate it. But even if you don't have these, you will have your other top match, top round, whatever clips that you have pinned here. So for example, this is from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay, so I've talked about some of the drawbacks of a service like Athenoscope, but what if you wanted to build your own? How would you start? If you're interested in learning computer science, programming, or other STEM topics, you could watch more educational videos on YouTube. You're already here. Cool. But in order to learn these things, you have to actually do it. Brilliant is a website and app built off of this very principle. You learn best while doing and solving in real time. Jump right into solving problems and be coached bit by bit until you've learned a new STEM subject before you've even realized it. Pick a course you're interested in and get started and don't worry about memorizing long formulas or fact sheets. That's not education. Working through problems and reading explanations for mistakes that you make or places you get stuck and learning at your own pace while doing the thing? That's education. Brilliant has something for everybody, whether you want to start at the basics of math, science, and computer science, or dive right into cutting edge topics like neural networks, the stuff required for building tools like this. If you'd like to join me and a community of 8 million learners and educators today, click the link in the video description or head to brilliant.org slash evosvox. The first 200 who do so will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Then you click these three dots and you click add to playlist. Now here you can make a be right back playlist, a starting soon playlist, whatever. So I'm going to call this BRB create and it will add it to that playlist. And I'm going to come back here to this montage. I'm going to add it to that playlist as well. BRB done. Then come over here, you go to my playlist. You find the playlist that you just made. So this one's called BRB. Then you have an option here for the playlist. You can update the name, whatever set as BRB or starting soon screen. This is what you want. So you have both of those so you can manage separate playlists for the different ones. So for example, uh, I had two different playlists. I can set them as there, but I click this and you can set it as either or both. So I'm going to set it as my BRB stream and then it adds a text to the banner, which again, unfortunately, this is required and I don't like that it adjusts the aspect ratio because you get a little bit of uh, pillar boxing. But again, that's required for the machine learning to filter it out. But now you can actually customize the text that it shows. So for example, I can say, the stream professor's ponage will resume shortly or something stupid. Okay, you apparently have a limited number of characters. And then you can either play in order or shuffle play. So if you add a bunch of clips to your scene, you probably want, personally, I would recommend enabling shuffle play because if you have a bunch of clips, it will shuffle through them. So every time you go to be right back or starting soon, it will show different clips and show them in a different order. That way, if you go BRB multiple times in the same stream, you're showing the same clips in the same order, which gets stale and will also turn off viewers. We click save. All right, we're good with that. Now you come over here to your account. You go to settings. Scroll down and you have here the be right back and the starting soon screens, which are just browser sources that you add to OBS. So we're going to copy this URL. Open up OBS. Now we're going to make a new scene. We'll call this BRB, of course. We're going to add the browser source. Athena BRB. Add the URL. And of course, we're going to set it to 1920 by 1080 be fine and it will automatically start playing the videos and that's your be right back screen now you can add additional graphics to this but again you do not want to block out the athenoscope watermarks unfortunately as again 
these are required to allow the machine learning to filter them out you can you'll just have to sort through repeat clips over and over so you can crop out this bar you can put your own little logo or watermark or graphic over top the athena scopes highlights watermark but it will in most cases detect this again and again as new clips so there's a trade-off there but now you have a dynamic changing and if you make it into the so showcase videos really like high quality montage level starting soon or be right back screen that you can use for your stream and i have used this during all of my streams in 2020 although these are new features that they've added kind of towards the end of last year uh, that i'm showing off here but i've used this concept through all of my streams in 2020 and viewers responded very very well you also have an option in your settings here for where the specific watermark for Athenoscope goes based on the game that you're playing. So if you have something in that game or the way you stream that game that you want to kind of adjust, you can sort of tweak it here. You can also add specific watermarks for the reason that the clip was selected, kill, victory, etc. Uh, I have that turned off. And then you can actually adjust the actual uh, watermark display name as well. And so I can say... E plus Fox, Athenoscope Highlights, and it has my Twitch logo, which is pretty cool. So again, you can manage separate playlists for starting soon and be right back. You can enable auto import. You also have, and this is important, you also have an embargo timer. Because if you're an affiliate on Twitch, and I believe the same is sort of true for partners, you have a 24-hour exclusivity requirement for your streams to Twitch. So technically bringing them over to Athenoscope as separate files and then sharing them somewhere else, that violates your affiliate agreement if you do it within 24 hours. So this is a nice little safety net of an embargo. You can actually adjust how often it actually, it'll still process the VOD, but it won't like show it up or anything like that. Manage your notifications, uh, connect different accounts, yada yada. So good stuff here. And overall, yeah, you could get something higher quality or less watermarked or whatever doing this yourself. And if you are just looking for inspiration, I would say this is the place to start. And then you can roll up your own solution in time or what have you. However, keep in mind that this is doing all of the work for you. That's the cool thing about Athenoscope. And I'll point you to my original video on it. If you haven't seen it, I'll have it linked in the video description. But that is the really cool thing about this whole service is it does all of this for you. It is machine learning based. The They're using some sort of machine learning algorithm with the name Athena in it. That's where part of the name comes from. It's doing all of this for you. It You stream to Twitch. It analyzes your video, as you can see is happening here, for a two-hour VOD. A few hours later, it spits you out clips if there's relevant clips. If not, it's just like, all right, you got nothing. And then it puts these all these videos and these edits together for you which as a solo streamer, as someone who maybe isn't making a ton of money from this or just can't justify paying an editor, which is most of us, this is doing the work that you would have to pay someone a significant amount of money or spend a significant amount of your time doing. If you're a control freak that wants to do that, go for it. If you're someone who just wants the cool result, this gets you there. And they are regularly adding new games. Like I said, I think they just added Knockout City after our community game night stream. And then you can also view trending clips from everyone else who is on the service as well. So it acts as a cool clip discovery service if you would like. So we can watch a multi-kill in Minecraft, apparently. That person is frozen. But then you have all of these clips you can go through and browse for yourself, which is pretty cool. You can actually add them to a playlist. So for example, uh, and I know some people might get bothered by this, but I think that would be silly. You could actually curate just an entire playlist of awesome clips I found and other than music concerns which I believe they would actually cut out you can effectively curate your own playlist here of other people's clips on Twitch if you want to keep people entertained and maybe expose people to other streamers which would be a really cool thing to do or if you have a stream team or a discord community you can just visit their specific Athenoscope profiles for example I can view Tomahawk or 1081's profile here and regularly add their clips to your playlist to feature them on your stream, which I think is incredibly valuable and really cool. And what's cool is despite the fact that this only currently supports, they are working on YouTube gaming support, but they haven't quite got it working yet. Uh, despite the fact that it only supports Facebook gaming and Twitch VODs at the moment, you can use this on YouTube. So again, keep in mind your exclusivity requirements of your partnership or affiliate contracts as needed. But say you do most of your game streaming on Twitch, but you host a show on YouTube like I do. 
well then you can feature your Twitch clips in your Be Right Back screen on YouTube to then also promote your Twitch in a much better way than just shouting it out. So lots of possibilities here. Just wanted to follow up on this because people were asking for ways to do it after I suggested having this kind of more dynamic Be Right Back setup in previous videos. And I think this is a really powerful tool to allow you to do it. And like I said, the showcase videos, if you happen to get in for them, are pretty awesome. I will have a link to my profile in the description below if you want to check them out. And again, they just use Monster Cat Music, which is all going to be Twitch safe stuff. And this one is actually like a 2020 in review kind of video, which is pretty sick. I guess I will leave you with this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education and stream guides. I'm Evos Vox, the stream professor. I will see you next time. Join us on Discord, discord.gg slash Vox to join us for future game nights and be in these streams. See ya!